Hi, you guys. So I wanted to show you how to figure out your p-value from this activity. So the first thing I did was I ordered flies that had, the males had purple eyes and the females were wild type. And this is my F1 cross, so I'm going to sort them. And I will click on each pile. And I notice that each of them are both wild type. So that tells me that I know I chose an autom autosomal um, trait, and each of them are showing wild types, so this must be a recessive trait. So I'm going to use this in animating. Zoom out. Use that one in animating. Return to the lab. I'm going across these. Now, sort your F2 cross, and you can see that some of them actually do come out with the purple eyes. I'm going to send this data to the computer. And I'll see here that it does separate them in male and female, but I chose an autosomal trait, so I should go ahead and ignore that since it's not on a sex chromosome. Now, I have a total number here, but in order to do a chi squared, I have to have a hypothesis. So what I'm going to do, let's figure out what my hypothesis would be. So the wild type was brown eyes, so I'm just going to go ahead and use B for brown. I'm going to do a Punnett square for my F2 cross. So let's go ahead and make this. And I know that both of my parents had them as recessive traits, they were heterozygous for it because they both showed brown eyes. So when I cross it, I can see that I should have gotten 75% brown eye and 25% purple. Okay. On my total number of flies, I'm going to get a calculator here. All right, so I had 902 plus 273. Make sure that was right. 902 and 273. Okay. So my total was 1,175. And I know that 75% of them should have been brown eyes. So I'm going to multiply that by 75%. And I get 881.25. You can go ahead and keep that 0.25 on there. I'm going to add that in for my wild type. 881.25. Oh, positive energy. Okay. So we'll just leave it as 881. And 25% of 75. 293, we'll run that to 294. So I test this hypothesis. Chi-squared value is 2. I have one degree of freedom because it's always one less than the number of possible outcomes. And it actually gives me my p-value. Now, if I didn't have the p-value, what I could do is look up this value on the p-chart, which I had leaked for you guys. So I could go to one degree of freedom. Now, my chi-squared value was 2. So the 2 would have been right in here in between these two numbers. So between 0.25 and 0.1, my actual um, critical value, or some of you call it alpha value, would be here. Okay. So this would be my cutoff, 3.84 for one degree of freedom. And I know that my number is less than that. So my p-value is actually greater than 0.05. Remember, if the p-value is low, then you reject the null hypothesis. In this case, I'm failing to reject it because my critical value, or it was a greater than the critical value.